Check, check, check. Hi everyone, Donut here. War, am I right? Damn a lot happened since last night, but I'm here to do crime, not war crime. Regular crime, we'll talk about the war crime some other time. Crime, like US crime where there was basically a war on the Houston streets. <laughs> So war crime? How many times can I say crime? Where to God Houston PD's YouTube channel is like the Wild West. If you look at their channel, they probably shoot just as many people as the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, and that's a feat in itself. This shooting we're about to break down is without a doubt one of the craziest American police shootings that I've ever seen. It almost rivals the North Hollywood Bank shootout, which I did a breakdown on that a couple years ago. You can see that right here. You guys remember the opening scene of End of Watch where they chase the bad guys and jump out and smoke both the bad guys? This shooting is just like that, except, well, they don't shoot the bad guy and the bad guy shoots three cops. It looks just like that scene though. There are a total of eight camera angles in this shooting, so in order to understand it better, I'm gonna have to pull out the high-tech 3D crime recreation software created personally for me by NASA, the CIA, Space Force, and Elon Musk. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna use my high-tech software, and because there's eight camera angles, we're gonna go over one at a time. But first, let's look at the location of all the officers who initially pulled up on scene. Then we'll move to the second shooting location where he gets into a gunfight with Houston SWAT. Yes, there are two different shootings in the same day with this gentleman. Before we go any further, because this video shows human beings shooting each other, despite being law enforcement in an educational format, which should get ads, this is probably gonna be demonetized. So there's a shout out for my sponsor in here, Can of Dips. These are little dip pouches that don't have nicotine or tobacco, but instead have 10 milligrams of CBD in them. If you live in a state that doesn't like the wacky tobacco, good thing for you, these are THC free, you won't pop on a drug test, and they don't get you high. If you click on the link in the comments and description below, it's gonna take you to the swag pack. The swag pack is five cans of can dip and an awesome hat. It says 70 bucks, but guess what? If you use the code donut, it's half off. It's 35 bucks, and you get five cans and a hat. Natural mint flavor, American spice flavor, tangy citrus flavor, fresh wintergreen flavor, and tropical mango flavor. These little bastards personally helped me quit dipping. They're pretty rad. So like I said, click on that link, head on over there, use the code DONUT, and get 50% off. The entire scenario as a whole is pretty simple to break down. Officers are responding to calls of a disturbance and threat to life. They were given a description of the suspect's vehicle, found him in the area, and attempted a traffic stop. Naturally, with our suspect being a fucking dirtbag, he ran from police. He didn't get very far though because he wrecked his getaway car. He immediately jumps out of his car and opens fire on police. There are two police cars and four officers who pull up right behind him. His initial burst injures the two police officers in the first car. Officers return a lot of fire and the suspect takes off down the street while still shooting at the officer. Suspect finds a lady in her car down the road and straight up Grand Theft Auto carjacks her and drives off. While carjacking the lady, he's still shooting at police and injures a third officer. The situation looks a little something like this. Bad guy, Officer Hayden, Officer Gadsden, Officer Alvarez, and Officer Diaz. Let's get started with the first camera angle, the dash cam that's in the very first police car that pulls up. Well, that was quick. He immediately opens up with something fully automatic, knocking out the dash cam and injuring the two officers. They haven't released what weapon the suspect used yet, but from the sound of it, I'm thinking it's probably a Glock with one of those little fully automatic switches on the back. As soon as he's done with the initial burst, he takes off down the street with officers chasing him. Second camera angle, Officer Alvarez. Officer Alvarez jumps out of the car, immediately loses his body camera around here, and then goes after the suspect with Officer Gadsden. You'll see this officer laying on the ground here in a minute, taking cover behind a car. He was the third officer injured by gunfire. Third angle, Officer Hayden. Officer Hayden gets a pretty gnarly arm injury from the initial burst of the suspect shooting at him, and so he runs back to find cover at a warehouse where a random guy helps him put a tourniquet on. Shots fired! Shots fired! Send EMS, I, I got hit. Fucking bitch. Hey, come here. Come here. Hurry, tighten that tight, 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 tight. No, wrap it around, wrap it around. Stop. 
Do a towel? Yeah, quickly. Now the fourth angle, Officer Gadsden. This is where all the action takes place. Something I want to point out when it comes to police training, if you'll notice, all the officers bailed out of their car when the shooting started. Some people might ask, well, why wouldn't they stay in their car and hunker down? Well, that's because vehicles make terrible cover. One of the first things you learn as a cop is get the hell out of your car. They call it a tomb for a reason. Gadsden immediately goes on to the offense and throws every round he has at the suspect almost. He gets off his first five or six shots and accidentally ejects his first magazine. Jump, jump. He gets another magazine in his gun, slaps and racks, gets six-ish more shots off, and accidentally ejects his second magazine. What I'm guessing is happening right here is giving the stress of the situation, he might be death gripping his gun and accidentally hitting the ejection button. He throws a third magazine in and completely empties it, then realizes he has no more magazines left. He moves forward a little bit and picks up the second one he accidentally ejected, pops it in, and starts chasing the bad guy while still being shot at. Car, car, get on the other side of the car! And now our fifth camera angle, Officer Diaz. Diaz jumps up, runs up to this side of Hayden and Gadsden's car, puts a few rounds down here, and then he takes off chasing the suspect too. We're gonna be at the 2100 block of McNeil. Hutchins, I got an officer down. I completely forgot to use my top secret high tech software to show you what Gadsden did. He was the one that was ejecting the magazines. He ran here for cover, you saw that, and then he goes chasing after the bad guy too. At this point, these three officers are all kind of beside each other. Diaz goes a little bit left, but then Gadsden and Alvarez are beside each other. This is where the guy GTAs that lady and steals her white Mercedes. While doing this, he shoots Alvarez, who goes down behind a car with Gadsden. This fucking dumbass, of course, drives back to his house, which is where SWAT found him and another firefight took place. Now we can watch this dope-ass SWAT footage. There are, you guessed it, three more angles to look at from SWAT. SWAT moves up to the house, rakes out the windows, and the guy immediately opens fire on them. Well, they return fire, and they're like, shit, he's barricaded. We're outside. Let's create some distance, bring the Bearcats in, and wait him out behind our giant metal vehicles.
To create some distance between themselves and the suspect without being shot in the back, they toss a couple of nine bangers into his house and then turn and burn. Nine bangers, if you've never seen them, are cool as shit. It's a flashbang that goes off nine times. The suspect gives up a couple of hours later. By some type of shitbag, dirt weasel, fuckstick divine intervention, during all of this, the suspect only took a flesh wound to the neck. Keep up. Down your knees. Down your knees. He got charged with three counts of attempted capital murder on a police officer, aggravated robbery, and some other stuff. He's not getting out anytime soon. This is Texas, not California. The three officers who were struck in the firefight were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Hayden took one to the forearm, Gadsden took one to the heel of his foot, and somehow still chased this asshole half a mile. Alvarez, the third officer who got shot, was hit in the thigh, breaking his femur, and then the bullet ended up lodged in his butt cheek. Let me know what you thought about this whole thing in the comments below. If you want to help support the channel, I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash donutoperator as soon as this video is released. You can go over to Bunker Branding to buy some of my merch, or head on over to my second channel, Donut Vloggerator. Well, that's all I got for you guys right now. As always, have a fantastic day.